When you say pyro, just for folks who may not know what you mean, when you say pyrotechnics, meaning, uh, like what's an example of that? Um, well, it's a very small scale right. firework show, okay. but yeah, very, on a very yeah. small scale, right, right. you know, but um, little bursts of sure. things, you know, good. happening. Okay. Right. And, and again, all, what makes all of our shows unique is that we have that hard rock edge. So, you know, we're not Disney and we're, we're not SeaWorld, but we're hard rock and, right. and we have an edge to us, but it's a fun edge. And you'll see things in our shows that you won't see in any other show. And every show has that wow factor. Wow. That uh, I'm not going to go into what that is because yeah, you'll have no. to come see Folks it. Yeah, will have to be out here. Good but, for yeah. you. You're yeah. uh, sheltering it a little bit so yeah. that uh, want, to pique want, that curiosity. We want our guests to and be course, surprised. Particularly with the tremendous pricing on the annual passes, obviously for our viewers in the PD in southeastern North Carolina who can really make it an easy drive down here, yeah. an hour and a half or two hours, it's worthy, thoroughly oh, yeah. worthy of getting that annual pass because that first day they're here they're just not right. going to be able to get it all in no no and the other thing is you know we do have lots of headline talent that is scheduled to come throughout the summer um, mm -hmm. and throughout the year really and you know so there's always something new that you can see sure. here when you come it's not you know it's not going to be the same thing all the time but um, along with all of our um, large live show venues we also have a lot of other entertainment we have our bare yeah. metal family Bare Metal Family. Yes, Ooh. and that's a, an anim, our animated um, characters, and they perform outside of British Invasion, um, okay. probably before the Roadies show. Right. Um, and they have a great, a great routine, and, and they have a great backstory, and um, a lot of fun. We also have Winston um, the Bulldog, which is another oh, animated character wow. you'll be able to see in British Invasion. Yeah. And he's he's a lot of fun. Um, and on top of that, we have smaller stages throughout our park where we're going to have um, solo guitarists, we'll okay. have um, smaller bands. Um, in our live amphitheater, and we don't have headliners, we have tribute uh, bands. Right. And we also have, you know, steel drummer, we're going to have jugglers, we'll have stilt walkers. We have um, karaoke queue line, which is a, a real fun thing at some of our queue, at some of our queues for the larger rides, we'll right. have entertainment, one of which is this karaoke. And so you get a chance to be a star yourself. And Exciting. sing a little bit, yeah. yeah. Very so nice. we have we'll professional have to get the cameras out. Yeah. yeah, we'll have professional singers, of course. You know, running that. Right. Um, so you, you know, you don't have to sing, but you know, it's more fun if you get involved. This is for real, Chris. I, mean, I know. This is a tremendous. Uh, as we heard Stephen talking yesterday about three thousand folks and pushing the envelope, they're really changing the landscape. When you think about just a couple of weeks ago, of course, the governor was in town to highlight the celebration of the Market Common opening up. Yes and to see a half a billion dollar investment there right on the southern end of, of Myrtle Beach and then to see another virtual half a billion dollar investment right here to see a billion dollars expended in Horry County in, uh, in this area of South Carolina oh, yeah. within a month's period of course many dollars that have been spent over years to make it happen but it's a really big deal for the area oh, yeah. it's a big deal for theme parks in general to, to be a first of a kind. Well, this is really the first kind of standalone theme park that has been built in the last 10 years. I mean, of course, wow. Disney has built new ones and SeaWorld has been, built new ones, but this is really the first standalone, right. you know, theme park. So th this is kind of, you know, history in the making. Yeah, you know, yeah, It's, it's, yeah. it's a, li um, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity to be right. a part of this. Right. So. You've got a good background uh, yourself, Kristen. You said the word aerialist a little bit, bit ago when talking about the Malibu uh, beach yeah. party there. Aerialist is... Uh, an, an aerialist is, is someone who kind of performs in the air. So ooh. there's several different types of apparatuses. There's um, liras, which is like a hoop that hangs in the air, which is what you'll see in the Malibu show. Right. There's also um, something called tissue, which is fabric that hangs from the um, ceiling. If you've seen Cirque du Soleil, um, you know, you'll, you know kind of what I'm talking about. No, but, I don't. Um, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, uh, it, it, it helps make it a little safer. Potentially yeah. or no, or is that just a uh, show? No, it's, it's not safe at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, How about just staying on the ground there? Yeah. You no. could stay on the ground. Yeah. You no, know, when you as an aerialist, you're up about how high there, Kristen. Well, in our particular show, or just right. in general. When you've performed in the past, uh, or if you, you were an average now. height is probably 20 feet. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Wow, mm -hmm. two stories up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it just depends, uh, but yeah. Okay. What's the highest you've performed? 30 feet. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's exciting. I think I saw before coming here. So you've experienced both smaller uh, venues as well as recently there at SeaWorld. I think you said you've been yeah. at SeaWorld even in San Diego. And so you've experienced some major parks. And obviously this uh, this is right on par with many of them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is this is a, a great park. It's got a lot to offer, and it's a really, really 
well thought out. And there's a lot of entertainment that's very unique and innovative. Right, right. Have you begun to get your eyes focused? Uh, surely yesterday you were seeing folks interact on a way that you all hadn't seen prior to uh, last night's, uh, the first night of the sound check. But as you've seen some interaction, there are some things that you really want to spend some time on when, when it's a little less crowded, when you can spend more time, even, even bringing your own out here. Oh, yeah. I, am, I have a 15-month-old, right. and uh, there's, a, there's stuff for her, even for her to do, which is actually rare. You know, you can't even find that sometimes at Disney for that young of an age, but there are some areas out in the park that she can really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, I'm a big roller coaster fan. So. Oh, are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've got that in you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then of course the shows. But, but yeah. And how about these planes are flying over? They're really taking a lot of this in. That's very exciting for them to be able to see uh, see the entire footprint here as they fly over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Probably nothing like that. It's it's interesting. It'll be fun to be on Led Zeppelin as the plane's going over. <laughs> right. Yes. 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 Just like a couple of weeks ago, I saw the fog at her, and I thought, Oh my lord, that'd be tough. Yeah. Being on a ride as the planes are flying, but I'm sure the FAA takes all. Oh of that, yeah, absolutely. Takes all of that into play. I think I saw a, a bull or a cow as I was coming up here. We do. We have the heckle cow, which is it's just another um, interactive piece of entertainment that we have because we also have several interactive pieces of entertainment. Right. Um, the heckle cow. Um, you just have to watch watch out because he'll he'll get you when you walk by. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's all in fun, and uh, and he's there. He he can see the guests, and 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 he'll talk to them and entertain them, and you know, I don't want to give too much away. No, that's right. Again, <laughs> cutting edge reason for folks to get in to see it. If for the first time as a as a daily admission side, I think Stephen said yesterday, if folks paid forty bucks for the sound check yeah. last night or tonight, yeah. the $30 could be applied towards your annual pass. Yes. And even $10 of that is going towards food yeah. out here yeah. to help yeah. check out all the food, yeah. get, keep Chef uh, Tim on his toes yes. and really Absolutely. make it happen. Absolutely. And one other show I forgot to mention, which kind of is the cap of our evening, is our Lagoon Show. Ooh. Um, and that's a, a very fun, exciting show with pyrotechnics. We have right. some kite flying. and. I'm not going to give too much away, but uh, listen, we've got another five minutes. You got to give something away, but that not not there, not, not there. One. You'll yeah. have to stay tuned. Yeah. You know, as uh, as you think about, surely a lot of the time that leads up. I think you said you just joined in uh, January. January. Is that right? Yeah. So you've been here right at three and a half, four months, yeah. and uh, to see what all's been happening, the flurry here right in the last 90 days has been intense. Oh yeah, I mean, every day you walk out, there's something different. So um, they're they're working so quickly to get everything done, and they're they're I think they're on, you know, just did a wonderful job to get it all done right. in time. Right. As director of entertainment, you've had to spend time throughout the park. Or are you principally focused on the three big shows to make sure they are really uh, tip top, or are those performers such that they would make sure no matter what it's going to be tip top? Um, well, the performers are great performers, right. and and we got a great group of them, and and they will definitely you know. Do you know? Do their part sure. in making sure that that they are doing their best. But um, I am responsible for the three major shows here. Uh, but as a as a entertainment department, we all try and help each other out in, in as much as we can in all different areas. But my primary responsibility are the shows. Right. Great. I think I, I had uh, alluded to you having some connection to the roadie show. Do you mind sharing yes, with us your uh, my special husband. connection? <laughs> oh yeah, my husband. My husband's in the in the roadie stunt show. How exciting! Yeah. Yes. What does yeah. he do? Is that another surprise you can uh, tell us? He's the he's the lead roadie. Is so, that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's I can't I won't go over all of what he does, but. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's a good show. That is fantastic. You know, and of course, uh, as, as you think about the, the uniqueness of some of these shows, you said many other theme parks have shows, but the different uh, level here, and surely to think about the interaction between all ages. When you think about hard rock, you're not necessarily thinking of something you'd bring your 15 month old to, or I, my five year old to, but you surely see children right. interacting as you walk through the park. I know last night, a lot of kids out here, and to see them. Getting juiced up, a lot of a lot oh, of family yeah. involvement. Well, you know, rock is is different to everybody. So right. so when you say hard rock, it's not necessarily heavy metal. You know, I mean, there's all different genres of rock. You know, we right. consider country to be a form of rock. So, you know, it's it's for it's there for everybody. And the way the park was designed was was for family, and and that's kind of why I think it helps. Why you see so much interaction with the younger kids and, and, and teenagers as well. And everybody could have a great time. 
Do you miss performing every day out here, Kristen, or performing uh, <laughs> prior to taking over this position well, as director of entertainment? Do you I miss think if you ask being up in the air? <laughs> Your husband's probably happy to have you down on the ground. I think if you ask any performer, uh, it's hard to retire. And yeah. um, I will always have a passion for performing. And if I could perform again, yes, I would. But right. do I love my position I have? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Where did you get your start, by the way? We got a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, I um, was originally a dancer, and yeah. I was dancing out in Las Vegas. I worked for Charo. Do you know who Charo oh, is? Oh, yeah, of yeah. course. I've seen her perform coochie, coochie, in the coochie. 80s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I uh, worked with her, and I also worked with um, some other companies up in Lake Tahoe. And then I decided that um, I wanted to get more into the acrobatics, and so I went to a circus school in England. Is that right? Yeah. In the UK. Yes. How exciting. Yes. How long were you over there? I was there for about six months because uh -huh. I had some prior training in the States right. before then uh, to do aerial type of work. So. Circus is pretty big in, uh, in England. In, in Europe. In, right. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different style than it is here, but, uh, but yeah, it's definitely popular. Like the Cole Brothers Circus, even a small one, to think about them performing here in the area recently. Yeah. And uh, obviously the excitement to, to come to a location like this and to see an, an amazing theme park, it just takes on a circus role of its own. I mean, everything out here has uh, kind of a, sur a very exciting feel, yeah. a constant interaction. Oh, yeah. You know, we want, we have all of our. Um, Entertainers, they all do meet and greets and all have a lot of guest interaction so that the, that the people feel like, you know, they're really involved in it. So. Absolutely. How exciting, Kristen. Yeah. Congratulations. We're thrilled. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad the sound check kicked off so well yesterday. And prayer Thank for you. It keeps uh, until May 9th. Until yes. Until all really jam. Yes. Thank you very much. Keep up the great work. Thank Stay you. tuned to more Carolina People, the director of entertainment, Kristen Andre, coming up next. Think about it. For years, she was saying, anything in the air, that's me. That's me. Anything in the air, now it's anything on the ground. And you think it's almost that. You know, she talked about the aerialist there at the Malibu Beach Party. That She didn't talk about the aerialist in here, Country on the Rocks, aerialist in the Roadie Show. There's a lot going on. When you think about those tremendous shows, as, all, as well as all the entertainment out here, on and on and on, you've got to get out of here. The sound check kicked off yesterday. It's continuing today and for another two and a half weeks until the big opening on May 9th, and then an even bigger opening. Can you imagine the Eagles? Think about it, the Eagles, June 2nd here, the Moody Blues on June 3rd, a tremendous opportunity, 236-ROCK. That's 843-236-ROCK or hardrockpark.com. Hard Rock Park, take the time to go online, get a lot of tremendous information, directions on how to get down here, tickets. You can buy tickets online, both daily pass as well as annual passes, also maps of the park to see the layout. You heard her talk about it, but go there, look at it, use the use your mouse, scroll over, get an interactive feel. It's a tremendous opportunity. There's more entertainment than meets the eye at the Hard Rock Park. Chris and Andre doing it every day. Keep up the great work. Thanks so much Thank for being you. here. Thank you this very morning. Much.